I'm really looking forward to 2018 because um, I've arranged to have a meeting with our local village independent council who've agreed to have a meeting with me about Japanese knotweed and uh, it's, you know, the, the research I've done, the um, herbal benefits, the medicines, the things you can make with Japanese knotweed and I believe that we could create a wonderful cottage industry here in the UK with this plant. So watch this space. It's going to be an exciting year next year. So please subscribe. Um, look at my research on Japanese knotweed and transresveratrol, which is part of the plant space. So here we have Japanese knotweed legend soap. Now this soap is being sold in Japan. Just look how much it costs. £7.24 for a small bar of soap. That's an expensive bar of soap. So what you have to ask yourself is, why are we getting rid of this plant? It's obviously got amazing properties in it, which is why it's so expensive. Here we have the extremely expensive face cream. It's being sold in Harrods and John Lewis and it costs £68. So what's the ingredients in this? As you can see, Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed to refine skin's appearance, softening the look of fine lines and wrinkles to reveal younger, more radiant, looking complexion because Japanese knotweed is anti-aging. Good morning YouTubers, it's Sharon J Bainbridge here from Butterfly Lullaby and it is the 28th of October 2017 and I just want to do a small book review on this book by Timothy Lee Scott called Invasive Plant Medicine. This is my favourite book. I absolutely adore this book and I want to thank Google and YouTube for sharing this information free on the internet and allowing me to find it. You know, if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have found the wonderful video by Timothy Lee Scott, which I'll show you later on. Like most things in this world, unfortunately, people tend to, instead of actually researching something, they tend to listen to, you know, the media, one bad media report, and then just decide for themselves that, you know, this plant is bad, this person is bad, instead of actually doing their research. We need to research more and look into things because not everything's black and white. You know, when I purchased this house, the owners of this house actually hid the fact that they had Japanese knotweed. And, um, you know, they cut it all back, etc. Once it um, started to grow, I mean, I started to find out about, you know, wild herbs, etc. So I did my research on this plant. And that is when I found Timothy Lee Scott's video on Japanese knotweed. It's his favourite plant and it's my favourite plant as well. I mean, I've made so many things with this plant. It's amazing. But what I just want to say to you is that I like to turn every negative into a positive. I like to find a positive in bad things because there is a positive, you know, and that's the way we need to think. It's important to talk about things, share information and just, you know, try and create a better world. So anyway, I'm going to read um, a part of this book to you about Japanese knotweed. Now if you go to page 223 on Japanese knotweed, you'll see this insert here and I'm just going to read it out to you. Japanese knotweed's abundance of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants help the body to process numerous toxins and cancers. One component, resveratrol, is produced in knotweed as greater concentrations than any other plant in the world with its anti-aging virtues. When I use Japanese knotweed to make a really lovely organic face oil and people tell me that I don't look 51. Um, I also use it for smoothies. I put it in a distilled water 
because resveratrol is very big at the moment if you do your research. I'm going to add some information to my blog as well about this so you can see everything you need to know that I've actually found on Japanese knotweed. And please leave comments below, I'd love to hear from you. So that's all from me, Shandre Bainbridge from Butterfly Lullaby. Have a great week. Bye-bye.